What's up everybody, Dan here, I'm back and I got some new Blender goodies for you. I've been always fascinated with the look and shiny colors of 80s highly reflected holographic stickers. After some research, I found out the effect is known as prismatic, so here it is Prismatic, a procedural material designed in Blender 3.4, it's completely free, you can grab the link in the description below and if you like it you can leave a comment and possibly subscribe to the channel and press the notification bell, it always helps. So where can you use this material apart from stickers? Well that's up to you, I'm going to show you though what are the settings available to change the look of the material and what can be animated out of the box. The first settings I'm going to show you is the pattern size, which is the repetition of the tiles. Then we got the ray scale, which is a way to get a different kind of effect. The rays will rotate, of course, with the camera angle normally, but you can increase or modify the rotation just with this slider. All of this can be animated. The gradient AB settings lets you mix the two different gradients present on the material. One is the holographic one that changes with the angle, while I added another gradient on top that it's fixed in position and just add some color. With the setting chrome, you remove the gradients altogether and you are presented with the color of your choice. So it could be no color, for example, and the reflection will only be the color you pick. You can also mix the effect. If you want just to remove partially the gradient, you can have a mix of your color. For example, if you want something that is bluer, but not completely blue, you can go halfway through and you get something similar. Then we have the roughness, which is just the roughness of the material, so how shiny will it be? We have an emission control, so you can remove how bright it is in a completely dark scene. In order to change the geometry in a more radical way, I added a few settings that will help with this. The first one is hollow scale, which will change the way the prisms are deep, let's say, in the hologram. And depending on the distance, this may be something that you may want to experiment with. While you can modify the UV directly to change the rotation of the pattern, I thought to add the settings here just to make something quick. So it's a rotation of 45 degrees and as you can see the effect is completely different if it's 90 degree or 45 degree. Over here we have a few more slider to change completely the shape of the prism. Horizontal will make each single tile with a few colors and almost one color for each tile, while the multi will create a pattern of horizontal lines or vertical lines inside each one of the tile. Finally we have the position which you can change with the mapping. The reason why I added the position over here is because this way they can be animated. I need to clarify, you need UV coordinates on your mesh in order to get a proper line mapping, otherwise you will get some weird effects, which can be useful if you just want some randomized splash of splashy, splushy, holographic colors all around. Also, don't forget to enable Bloom if you are using Eevee or if you are in cycles, you may want to have compositing set up for a similar effect. If you stayed with me till the end of this video and you are not subscribed to this channel yet and still you didn't like the free material, I feel you should double click or double tap the dislike button under this video and move on with your day. All the best, speak to you soon, stay tuned and so on. Ciao!